Thank you for joining us today on how to map to an existing database. Um, what we're going to be going over here is taking Reds Cloud and mapping it to an existing database that you might have been using for a few years or that your programmers have already set up. So um, Reds Cloud can now easily be set up to replace an existing process um, so that you can map the MLS data directly to a predetermined data source. So let's get started. I've already logged in and I, in this account I have several MLS feeds. Um, we're just going to be looking at one. So I'm going to go ahead and select my queries and then I'm going to go ahead and select the specific query that I want to set up. And in this case it is residential. So this is the normal screen that you'll see. Um, there used to be a button that said mapping coming soon. Obviously it's available. Uh, we also moved it inside the query builder. Um, so once you have everything set up, please refer to the, addition, the other videos in the series. Once you have your query set up, um, you need to build um, the query and this is where the mapping function is. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Um, so in this case, we're going to map to an existing table, a table that was already developed. So I'm going to go ahead and check this and click Save. Now the reason why it bumps us out is because um, it does take some time to load a database structure or a table structure. So I don't, we don't load it by default. So we click that, click save, we come back out, and let's go ahead and click on Query Builder again. Now this time it's going to take a little bit longer to load, um, but it's also going to list our fields um, from our table below the MLS um, fields. So if I scroll down here, um, these in blue are the fields from the MLS, and then there's a pull down. Um, of where and how we want to map these to our existing table. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and then these are all the fields that already exist in the, f in the table that I'm working with. So um, let's go ahead and do acres. So in this case um, we have a field called field underscore acres. So I can click that and then under age uh, in, in my table example it's called field underscore age and then so on so you can map as many as you want you don't have to do all of them you can map as as few or as many as you'd like um, the system will basically just drop the fields that you're not using um, and only load the fields that have been mapped so once you're done mapping we just click save and you're done um, the other thing that no longer once you're once you've mapped a database or a table uh, this build table and test query no longer works because the, the main reason is we don't want the system to, to build out the table or um, mess with anything that's already been set up by your developers this can cause problems so this this build table and test query functionality is gone but if you want to test, you can always click Force Update and it'll actually run the query so that you can see if everything works properly. So that is it. That is how you set up or map to an